Yo, what's going on YouTubers? Plumpy Man here. Uh, just doing another little video. Today, I'm super excited to do this unboxing, show you guys what it's all about. Um, <clears throat> this is actually an order I got from autoknife.com. I had them send this out to me. I contacted them and talked to them about some of their products. And uh, I'll go ahead and open this up. I did open it off camera and check it out when I first got here because I was super excited. Um, but what this is, this is the Delta Force recon uh, this is their double-edged serrated dagger <clears throat> but it comes in like a kit and this is exactly how it came except for it did have all these screws over here in the knife I take I took those out already just because I was gonna have to take them out anyway and I didn't want to have to do that on camera but uh that's the blade there itself and that's the knife itself there um, and it's got a pretty solid feel. I'm, I'm really digging it so far. I mean, this texture and coating on it is pretty freaking nice. We'll go ahead and open it up and let you guys see what's inside of it. <clears throat> and what you got to do to put this thing together. Uh, right now, I just have one screw holding it together. That just because I did that off camera, that way, it was less screws and stuff like that that I have to put in and take out. But, uh, like I said, this is the Delta Force Recon, and these retail around, <clears throat> depending on where you get them, I think on their website, it's like 69 bucks pretty much for this knife, but uh, it's relatively solid compared to all the others that I've seen in, uh, out there on the market. Like the Lightning, whatever the, I think it's just called the Lightning. This thing is three times the knife of that. This is the actual tray and everything that actually makes the <coughs> Delta Force function. Um, and you have these two locking things right here. Uh, I'm relatively super new to auto knives, but I've watched some videos and read some forums and stuff like that. And it seems to be relatively simple to put one together. <coughs> but the blade, here's the blade. Uh, it has this indention here. I really don't have any clue what this hole is for. I didn't. I haven't quite figured that out. But the blade will only go in one way through the end of the knife, uh, and that's with this indention sticking up. So what you want to do is slide the blade in there, and when it gets to this locking mechanism, you have to slide it over with your finger at first. Um, that way you can get the knife to slide on farther back. As you can see, after it, after it slides back, this back lock, uh, locking mechanism holds it in place when it's in closed position. But to put this knife together, from what I've found, you can't have the knife fully closed or fully open. You need to have it uh, relatively about where it's at right now. The trigger mechanism, the firing mechanism, basically right here, this sets in this just like this in the knife. Uh, right here is where your uh, button is, the release and close button. <coughs> but if you look on the springs, one end of the spring down here, this spring basically just clasps around this. One end shorter down here and one end longer down here. The longer end is to fit into this groove cut out in the back of the blade and that's what purposely makes it go in and out is this spring <coughs> sorry about the uh, coughing and stuff I am getting sick which sucks I know but I can't really help it but that's how you do it pretty much you just slide it in there and when you go to put one of these together if you do buy a kit or if you get one or if you're taking apart and just cleaning it basically <coughs> what you want to do is same thing make sure the blades like on um, at least this far out halfway in halfway out not completely closed and not completely open uh, then you hold it with your thumb place the trigger mechanism back on there hopefully God I hope this is showing up and you'll see on the top plate there's a groove cut out specifically for this indention for this handle right here this uh, button release Place that back on there, and there you go. And then grab you some screws and start tightening up. I usually start at each corner. I'll go right, left, right, left, and then do the two center. 
Yes, of course. As soon as I do a video, every time my dog goes nuts. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I woke up this morning, had a sore throat. Friggin' sucks, but that's just life. It happens. Then get your two center screws. Yeah, it would. Honestly, <laughs> when this thing was being shipped to me, I had no clue and had no idea whatsoever how hard one of these kits would be, but I guess from all the videos I've seen, when they come from the factory, they pretty much just come just like this. <clears throat> A lot of times the spring won't be attached to that plate inside, and you'll get the blade in one bag and the components and everything in another bag. This thing down here, the, they call it the skull crusher or window glass breaker, basically. Uh, the thing when it comes it's pretty much loose you can put this belt clip on this side or this side and just tighten it up on the end <coughs> it's got a hole running through the center of it uh, around there basically I'm just going to shove something in there and wrench it down real tight later on but uh, just making sure I get these screws tight right now oh this keeps falling out Before I get it tightened, I will show you, yes, that blade is loose, but to get it to work and get it to cock in there, just pull on the blade on the end, and then there you go. It's not going to fall in and out anymore. And so far, so good. That's it. That's the dagger serrated double-edged knife. And here you go. The thing is friggin' solid. <laughs> uh, I have messed with a couple people's different, uh, like the lightning. I didn't like it at all. <coughs> because the metal on it was real cheap and flimsy pretty much. You could squeeze it on the center and the whole thing would crush in. Uh, I, I, they're okay, but... This knife right here is easily three times that knife that I'd guess. Price is a little more expensive, but it's uh, the quality is easily three times as good as a Lightning. And uh, there you go. Uh, my nephew actually has a Raven Tactical, and he paid, mm, I think, right at $200 for the freaking thing. And no joke, this thing is ex pretty much equal quality. From the weight of the knife and solidness and we will check blade play it does have a little bit of blade play, uh, blade play but not very much at all and uh, about the same amount as the raven tactical but not as much as this <laughs> is like a lightning or something like that those things are just uh, i'd stay away from them if it was just me but anyway that's it that's the new delta force recon and that's how you put it together the thing is pretty freaking solid i like the <laughs> the glass breaker and the belt clip. Uh, hopefully that's showing up okay on there. 
and it's pretty quick I mean it's pretty solid knife I like I love the black texture and the feeling on it <clears throat> I'm super impressed with it and yeah that came from autoknife.com if you guys want to check them out go check them out because uh, they got some really good prices compared to all the other sites that I've checked out and uh, some pretty quality stuff and believe it or not there's only a few videos on YouTube about the Delta Force series and so far from what I'm seeing that's a pretty solid knife and I would recommend it to somebody if they wanted to try to get one or whatever so that's it let me know what you guys think thanks oh yeah